Hey, this is Case, W0AAE, with another Ham Radio Essentials. I'm going to be doing another NOAA satellite pass here. Um, here's my SDR console here. Um, here's the WX2IMG software that I use to decode everything. And it should be coming over in about three minutes. It says right down here, record three minutes. So, And I've got the console all set up. Got it tuned to the right frequency. All I need to do is hit this play button, and then we're off, pretty much. I turned off the sound from this, this uh, SDR console to, uh, to, to your recorder, so you don't, uh, you don't need to hear the, the recording. Uh, the sound of the, uh, the satellite coming over since it uh, it doesn't it doesn't sound that good when it comes through well it sounds decent but I think it interferes with uh, the image that comes up right here so we're in two minutes let me start up the console there we are Zoom out just a little bit. Beautiful day outside. Oh, there it is. Let me stretch these things a little bit. There it is. Line up the Just starting to come over the horizon. It's already coming in extremely strong. Recording in one minute. This is going to be a 75 degree pass over my location it's about signal strength is about 18 on the s meter it's like an s meter higher the signal strength down here the better the image is going to be Good signal strength. Yep, here it is, starting up. See the image starting to come in. Already 21 on the S meter. Very, very good signal strength. This is coming for them from the north, so I'll be getting a little bit of Canada right now of the image. Um, and I'm doing Doppler by by hand. I, I want to figure out software so I can so the so I can actually stand up and uh, point the antenna and have the computer adjust for Doppler by itself. But the, there's no software right now that'll do it. It's all old software, and it doesn't work with the computer. Expand the bandwidth just a little bit. Good signal.
beautiful signal. Signal strength is at 25, getting higher in the pass. Great signal strength. I've seen the signal strength get up to 40 before. I'm just using a Yagi antenna, tape measure Yagi. image. Here's the image so far. Really, really good signal strength. 27, 28, 28 now, 29, 30. Remember, I'm doing this by hand. I'm doing two things at once. I'm adjusting for Doppler. can find videos on how to set this up. It's quite simple. There was just one that was put out for Windows 10 about a week ago, or two weeks ago. Almost max elevation. About one more minute till max elevation. Doppler is really, really going to start going crazy. 31 on the S meter. Just hit 31. Yeah, I can see the frequency change extremely rapid. Yep, there it is again. 29 in the S meter. Just a beautiful signal strength here. In Minnesota, 31 on the S meter. So you can see I'm adjusting the frequency very, very fast because I can see the frequency moving 32 on the S meter now. It's just so strong. When it's right overhead, it's just extremely strong. It's still peaking 32. It's a uh, max elevation now officially. Let's move the frequencies a little bit more. Just using a cheap $30 Amazon Nualek at Nesder Smart here. Nesder Smart SDR with uh, software. 32. This is pegging. Oh, going down a little bit. I 
I have yet to get one of these at night. So sometime I needed to do a, an image at night. Let me stand up so I can direct it. Frequency shifting a little bit, losing it. Just barely starting to lose it. There we go. Now I'm getting it. 25 in the S meter. 26. Now I'm going south, getting a little bit of some images of the south. You can see the sawtooth, um, sawtooth image of the, uh, on the on the waterfall on the SDR. Great signal. These are FM signals, frequency modulation. Twenty eight on the S meter. It's almost ten degrees, twenty nine now. About one more minute to ten degrees. 27, going down a little bit, 29 now, 30, good pass today. Outside in my front yard, doing this on my driveway. Move behind a building so the signal strength is dropping. It's at 19 now. About 92% through. Not the best image I've ever gotten, but still heck of good. Pretty much gone now. Okay, that's about it. That is the satellite pass. Let me stop the recording. Okay, now it's gonna, you can see this little percentage thing down here. It's processing the images. There we are. There's the image. 
So you can see I'm all, all the way up to the North Pole up here. We have a little bit of some storms right here. You can see my house here. Here's Texas. They have uh, quite a bit of storms down here into Texas, the East Coast. This is pretty much all, all the way over me, so satellite is coming about right here. Here's the East Coast. Get a couple of storms. I can change enhancements. So sea surface temp. This this one's kind of interesting. You can see the surface temp of um, water. So looks like this is pretty hot over here. And um, you can see the oceans. Decently hot water down here. If you scroll over, you can see the temperature down here in Celsius. So 55.6 degrees Celsius there, 2.5 degrees Celsius, negative 5.9 here. Oceans are actually pretty pretty warm today, or lakes and oceans. So Lake Superior is pretty warm. Um, I've got thermal. Here's thermal. Decently warm here. I think the greener, the warmer it is. I, I'm not 100% sure. Pretty, pretty warm here. Um, if you scroll over, it should show how warm it is. It's about um, 1.4 degrees Celsius. Let, let me check the temperature right now. That's how you spell Celsius. I haven't spelled that in forever. I don't have the best Wi-Fi out here, so it might take a little bit. Really, really good image, though. I, I'm liking it. Not sure what this one does. Let's check. This one's 3D, so if you had 3D glasses, you could put put them on, and um, I think it'd pop out. You can see the orientation of the of the places. Um, there's precipitation. Let's do this one. Oh yeah, we already did this one. Um, false color. Um, so 21 degrees Celsius. So this may be a little off. Which is really, really nice. This is false color. So this is technically what the satellite is seeing. Here's uh, infrared. Red image, really really cool image. So what I have to do is save, um, save image as. Yeah, I can just save them. I think this is my seventh image. Save that in there. Really really nice. Contrast enhance. I'm not sure what these things do. Uh, it just shows different things. Here's a hurricane one. Um, sometime when there's a hurricane, I can use this for looking at a hurricane, let's say down here or um, a more easterly coast pass over. I can see a hurricane. So maybe when there's a hurricane hitting uh, the east coast, I can. Um, uh, do I can see what I um, I can see how the hurricane is doing from this satellite. Um, no color infrared. Let's see what this thing does. Another infrared image. Um, thunderstorm. Haven't done this one before. Um, yeah, it just shows thunderstorms in the area. Nothing. Nothing major. Uh, warm season. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what these do. Ice is interesting. Yeah, I, I don't really get these. But really, really cool. This is pristine. I'm not, I think this is just normal. Yeah, this just shows the normal picture. 
So, very, very cool. Anyway. This is Case, W0AAE. I hope you enjoyed this video of these cool images that I got. 73s, this is W0AAE.